What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is iCastle's Extended Gaming Mouse Pads. So in the box, I guess you could say, it's actually in a plastic wrapper. All you have is the mouse pad. Hopefully you don't need instructions on how to use a mouse pad, but I will be going over why mouse pads are so important, especially if you're a gamer. Let me tell you, if you're a gamer and you have not been using a mouse pad, you have not been gaming correctly. I'll even tell you a little story. Um, I was playing with one of my friends and she's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, she's pretty bad. And I asked her, why are you not getting any better? Why is your accuracy so bad? Like we're playing Valorant and I noticed like her kind of reflexes seem like they're a little off. You know, it, it always seems like she over or undercompensates every time. I was like, what is happening here? Why are you so bad? And she was like, well, first off, she cussed at me. Um, can't use those words in this video because I'm not trying to get blocked. But yeah, she cussed at me and then she, I was like, yo, like what kind of mouse pad are you using? Cause it looks like you're just kind of going all over the place. And she's like, I don't use a mouse pad. And I'm like, you don't, why not? And she's like, I don't need one. I just use like the table surface. And I was like, yo, that is not a good idea. That is going to dramatically worsen your game experience. It's just gonna make you play worse. It's just, it's just bad. I'll explain why later on, but I'm telling you, like a mouse pad makes the biggest difference. Like I actually travel with two mouse pads at all times. Uh, usually they're both small ones or I'll carry one of these large ones. And it's because my gaming experience suffers so much without a mouse pad. I'm not even joking. Now, if you're not here looking for like a mouse pad for gaming, maybe you need it for another purpose, stay tuned because I'll go over why I think these mouse pads are just perfect for any real purpose. You know, there's a lot of reasons to buy these mouse pads and you'll notice i have three right here um i got three different designs they are very large mouse pads in fact um i'm gonna go ahead and i'll pull this over a little bit and then lift my camera hopefully you'll be able to see this okay but yeah you can see it's it's a large mouse pad like it's covering almost the entirety of my table and that is big you know that's a lot of surface area to be covering and that person I think is important too, and that's something we'll go over a little bit later. But yeah, let's go into my thoughts on these three mouse pads, because like I said, I think these mouse pads are amazing. So let me give you some general info. These mats are 35.4 inches by 15.7 inches, and they have a three millimeter thickness. I'll go ahead and raise it up a little bit. So it's like three millimeters thick. You probably can't even tell how thick that is. It's not like super thick, but it's thick enough. Let's just leave it at that. It's made of Lycra, AKA spandex. It is non-slip rubber base. Uh, it is water resistant, anti-fray with double stitched edges, anti-fade surface design. So yeah, let's talk about why you might need a mouse pad this big. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take away two of these so you can kind of just stare at one for a bit. So yeah, why do you need a mouse pad this big? First off, never I never play a game without one, as I've already mentioned. And if I do play a game without one, it's definitely not competitive. I'm playing a non-competitive, unrated version. I will never play cop modes without a mouse pad. You can truly feel a difference playing with versus without a mouse pad or mat, and it can really be the difference between a win or a loss. It'll keep you from running out of pad space when you're playing games because it is so large, which you know can be an issue if you're using a normal size pad or a smaller one for gaming, especially if you keep your sensitivity pretty low to where like you have to make really large movements to actually make your character move. So having an extra large mouse pad really helps out in those situations. It's wide enough to let you put multiple things on it. You know, you could put your laptop, your keyboard, whatever it may be. It will also let you decorate your work or gaming space with something that's easily cleanable, you know, because it is covering most of the space. I can literally just cover up this table with it. It adds a little bit of a design to this table that isn't permanent and that I can wash and that if I spill anything on, I can clean easier than if it gets on this table. You know, I just think this mouse pad really serves so many 
different functions that you may not have really thought about. So generally, if you do need to wash this, if you already own it, I will go ahead and tell you I wash by hand. You know, I usually wash it by hand with some soap and then just let it hang to dry. But you can, from what I've read online, you can toss these into a washing machine as well. I've done it once before with no issues, but I personally prefer to wash by hand. And again, that's really important because let's say you spill like a Coke and not water. You know, you spill something sticky or you drop some food. Well, it's getting on this mat and on your table. It won't leave a bunch of uh, what are those things called? You know, when you leave a mug, the little rings, it won't leave those little rings on your table. So, you know, I think it's good for preventing damages and stains. So the material, as I mentioned, is Lycra, which is spandex. And that's also important for a gaming mouse pad or just a mouse pad in general. It makes the mouse pad breathable and allows, it allows a smooth glide when you're using the mouse. This is also super important for gamers since it allows your mouse to stop when you actually want it to. It adds better and consistent resistance. And that is why I was harping on my friend because I was like, the reason when you're moving your mouse and it looks like sometimes you're overcompensating, you're undercompensating for like flicks is because you're using this surface that's just kind of smooth or maybe it has like a weird texture on it and it's just not going to work right, you know, and sometimes you're playing on different surfaces as well. So it's like each time you're kind of over undercompensating, you're not getting that resistance, especially if it's a smooth surface. It'll just keep gliding. You know, you might think you have really good hand control, but like naturally our hands are going to be like a little bit shaky or twitching. So you got to be using a mouse pad where it adds a little bit of resistance, makes every movement more consistent. At least that's my thought. I'm sure other people who use mouse pads agree that it really does make a difference. So let's talk about these mouse pads, the iCastle mouse pads. So like I said, I bought three. And the reason I bought three is because I love the designs that they have. I mean, just look at these designs. They're pretty nice. So let's start off with this first mountain one I bought. So the reason I bought three, other than the fact that I just think they look nice, is to see how well they compare to the pictures on their website. You know, sometimes uh, companies will use kind of like that perfect pristine looking one. And then when you actually get the item, it doesn't look anything like what you saw. Uh, from what I can tell, it looks pretty much like the Amazon page. It looks a little bit washed out compared to the Amazon listing. But overall, I would say it looks pretty good. You know, um, the colors look vibrant. They look nice. And I personally didn't want anything too kind of vivid. I didn't want something super saturated because I think that's a little distracting sometimes as well. I think having kind of this slightly more washed out feel makes it feel a little bit more, not even expensive, but kind of more, just looks nice. Yeah, I guess that's the best way I can explain it. So here I have the pink one. And again, links for all of these will be in the description below. And they have a lot more color options and design options if you want something that fits your style a little bit more. I'm just going to roll it along so you can kind of see because it Overhead look isn't the best, I would say. This one's kind of like a pink, yellow, blue scheme, mostly on the pink side. I thought this looked nice as well because I do have a table that's white, and I thought this would look better on a white table. It also has like gold uh, drawers. The handles on the drawers are gold, so I figured this would kind of match well with it. And then we have this nice blue one. I just got this blue one because I like the color blue. Uh, I thought it looked really nice. And, you know, you can always turn this if you want to as well the other way. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just kind of your own preference. It kind of has a water soap type of look, which I just thought looked neat. And it could really work on a lot of different tables. Um, I personally would probably put this on my other white table because I have like two white tables. I have this brown table. But I would probably put this on my other white table. I think it would look best on there. And then let me go ahead and bring this one back out, take this away. And let me pull out this mountain one again. I think this mountain one I would use right here on this table because I think it's a nice kind of work space type of design. You know, I like having it in my workspace. I think it looks nice. Uh, I think it kind of makes you feel nice when you just look at it. You know, they have so many different designs. I might honestly buy a few more. But yeah, I think overall, these mats are great. I love the big size of it too. It's a little bit bigger than some of the other ones I own. I do have some extra large mouse pads, but I think this is probably the biggest one. And I did try it out on Valorant. So if you are looking for gaming purposes, I did try it out on Valorant mostly, because that's where, that's like one of the only games where precision really matters to me you know i have other games where obviously you need to be very accurate and precise but i think valorant is the one game where i care the most about being 
very accurate. And, you know, I compared it to my other mouse pad. So my other mouse pad is slightly different texture, I guess. I think it's the same material, except that one was like 95% spandex and 5% something else. So, you know, I didn't notice like a huge difference in my gaming between those two. But when I tried it out with a regular surface and then used this, oh, I it made a huge difference. I went from like, let's see, I think tried on in about three or four games on both surfaces was just a table. And the reason I did that is because, you know, it might take a few games to adjust to the new textured surface. And when I did on a normal table, I was consistently bad. Like I wasn't at the bottom of the leaderboard, but like it was like second to last, third to last almost every game. When I use a mouse pad, I was usually in the upper third. Um, you know, I was doing pretty well. I was really accurate. I was hitting those headshots almost every time. I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's also I'm used to playing on a mouse pad so much now that it really because I knew it made such a huge difference. Like I used to play with friends at in college and the library. I would literally be bringing one of my extra large mouse pads to play because I knew it made such a big difference. And if you don't believe me on this, you know, that's fine. You could get it for decoration purposes as well. But I'm telling you, if you're a gamer, you really should try out one of these nice big mouse pads and just see how big of a difference it really makes. All right, so let me give you my final pros and cons list. Pros includes how big this mat really is. It's washable, it's water resistant, anti-fray, anti-fade. Only real con I can see, it might not be super convenient for traveling because it is so big, but you know, you can roll it up and fit it in anyways. And a lot of you may not really be taking a mouse pad or like a big mouse pad for traveling anyways because if you're traveling, you're most likely not gaming that much. If you are, you know, you can always roll this up, take it up with you or take a smaller one. But, you know, I personally take one of these with me. I just roll one up and keep it in my backpack at all times in case I need it. And I don't think it really takes up that much space. You know, like when you roll it out or even if you just fold it, it fits pretty well. Also, I suggest don't fold it. I suggest rolling it up because folding it might start making creases in the center and stuff, which is not good. But anyways, yeah, I think also another big plus just to finish this off all the different color options and color schemes, all the designs. I just like that they have such a wide variety. So if you do end up buying one and liking it, you can buy more with the known quality, but with a different color scheme, a different design. And, you know, it kind of gives you that confidence to buy again from them. That is it for this video. Link to this product and the other two are in the description below. If you found the video helpful, I'd love it if you could leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment below as well. Thank you for watching.